How's everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and that little intro there made me smile. The baby's eyes were lovely. This is a special beta preview. This is not a game that's released just yet. We're just going to play the first 20, 25 minutes of the game and get a sense of if this is something we might want to play or record or buy in the future. So yes, this is Shiver 3 Moonlit Grove, and yes, I realize the fact that I have only recorded Shiver, the first one, Vanishing Hitchhiker, and I have not recorded Shiver 2, Poltergeist. But, having said that, you know how these things work. Sometimes I crash through a game just because I know a new one's coming out. I don't know. I mean, if this particular demo gets me excited about Shiver 3, maybe I will push through Shiver 2. Hard to say. So that intro is finished. Let's go ahead and find out what this game's all about. It's been four years since my stepfather mysteriously disappeared. Some say he was attacked by wolves, but I don't believe it. He found me as a baby and very ill. He nursed me back to health. He raised me as his own, and I owe everything to him. I'm a doctor now. I'm going to follow in Renee's footsteps. Wow, that was quite the opening, and we've got more thunder and rain, yay! <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and get some interactive help here. Uh, some objectives are located inside other objects or locations. When the cursor changes to an eye, you can take a closer look. Whoa, this is kind of a creepy looking hand. We found the footboard. This is your inventory. The lock button changes whether it's visible or minimized. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 we definitely like it like that. What a not, let's hope I can pass for Alexander the Great. Okay. This is your hit button, do not hesitate to use it if you don't know what to do next. Don't worry, I know all about the hit button. Once you use it, you must wait for it to recharge. I just quickly hear, something feels a little... Well, which is the one for the voices, but... Anyways, we'll just play around that. Ah, that's loud. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's look at the carriage here. We have a diary. Excellent. Open it up, please. I just love how some uh, developers put the diary on the left, and some put it on the right, and they swap the hint between the diary. Thank goodness I didn't lose my diary through the crash. When the cursor changes to gears, you have to do something with this object. Try your inventory item with this object. A footboard? Is that gonna... Oh, we're gonna just snap it off. Oh, okay, that works for me. We found a casket. That is a very tiny casket. You found a special inventory object, which is marked by a frame and an eye. You cannot apply it to another object. You can select it to examine it closer to solve a puzzle. That is interesting. When the cursor changes to a circular arrow, you can turn this object by dragging it in a circular direction. Okay. Without knowing the right code, I'll never get this open. Alright, well, we're just going to do a little random guessing here. Because... Alright, anyways, so we don't know the code. That's kind of a neat little trick. Uh, what about this here? This looks interesting. I cannot pull out the linchpin by hand. Hmm. By order of the town council, I'm pleased to offer you the position of district doctor, a title previously held by your foster father, René Malo. 
which he has sat vacant since his dis disappearance a few months ago. So again, I haven't played the second Shiver, and there's a high probability that if I plan on playing Shiver 3, that I'm going to play Shiver 2 first, so... Alright, so we've got some alcohol, that's always handy. What about these? These look useful. Yes, tweezers, thank you. Can we use tweezers to get those out? Sure we can. No, we can't. Hmm. Looks like I need something stronger with more leverage. Let's follow the white wolf. Oh, it's bleeding. He's not happy, or she is not happy. That is for sure. Nice full moon. That is the same wolf who attacked me. Get all this cleared out of here. All this clutter. Skull. This is neat. I have to break the skull if I want to get the arrowhead. Huh. Interesting. This puzzle within a puzzle. It's kind of a neat little trick here. We found a perfume oil. Hmm. That's intriguing. Is there nothing else here? No, there's a bone. Now there's nothing else here. Let's see if we can... Oh, nothing looks like it's over here. Okay, let's go this way. I did enjoy the first shiver, and one of the, the game mechanics they had there was the flashlight, which I thought was quite enjoyable. Alright, I have to unscrew it first. Found a glass shard. Avis de Rocher. Two thieves have been roaming the local woods, stealing game from hunting traps. The village council is offering 200 gold bounty for bringing them to justice. Alright, so I have to unscrew that first. Uh, what do we have here? This should open the shutter and lower the water. The wheel is missing. Why, of course, and we don't even have access to that. The river is too deep to wade across. But if I could get the mill working and lower the water, perhaps I could try. Okay, cool. That's that. Let's go in here. It's rusted, but a bit of oil would help. What about perfumed oil? Yeah. It's locked, but I must get inside. I have to pick the lock. I don't know what tweezers work. No? A bone. No bone for you. Not sure what else to do here. Looks like we can't reach that. Glass shard. Hmm. Whoa, what's this flying around here? Let's look. Yesterday evening, folks spotted Audrey fleeing the forest. He shouted like he found the real spirit of the forest. He described the creature as being seven feet tall and walking on two legs like a man. All he had for evidence was a tough fur, which hunters identified as ordinary wolf fur. So there's definitely a little bit of werewolf action in this game. I'm already going to take a wild guess. If it wasn't any... Indication by the baby having yellow eyes, meaning me having yellow eyes at the very start. Yeah. A metal box. This puzzle. Press the skip button. Yes, yes, yes. I know how to do skipping. But what are we doing here? How do I know what to do? Well, I want to go down. Weird. How do I know what to set this thing to? Set him up. Looks like an angel. Doesn't he look like a snow angel? Look at the... How do I know what to do with this thing? <laughs> Alright, well, just so we're clear, I'm going to be playing this as a demo. I'm getting a sense of the game mechanics, getting a sense of whether or not I might want to buy this game. I'm not here to solve the puzzles in the pure sense. It's more just to have a little bit of fun, give as much of you as possible a sense of whether you might want to play this game too. So don't get overly excited if I happen to skip out on a few puzzles here and there because it's all good. Alrighty then, these both... you both? <laughs> oh, I saw something running past there so it's kind of creeped me out. Let's find out what we need to do here. We need to do this. And what's my help? Rotate the limbs until they are in the right position. What the hell is the right position? Am I told what the right position is? I am not told what the right position is. Oh. Unless this is it. 
We're gonna do this Da Vinci Man here. Okay, let's try that. Yay! A catechus chip? It's useless. Syringe needle. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if that's strong enough to... Probably not, right? No. This is the, the medical symbol, right? With the stick and the snake? Or the serpent, I guess it is? Alright, so what are we doing here? We need something uh, to break the skull. I don't know if the bone is strong enough? No. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. So we need a screwdriver, apparently. Oh, but you know what? I bet you we can use this to get in here. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy. What are we doing here? Oh, we're, I'm actually controlling this? Are you crazy? This is insane. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a neat little thing here. Let's get that there. Wow, this is actually one of the nicest lock picking. I think that's even better to better than Skyrim or Oblivion. Wow, that was nice lock picking, I must say. Hooray. I'm already impressed by the lock picking. <laughs> what do we have in the floor here? Those damn rats managed to break the trap door, so now the only way to open it is bust it. And I cannot take a cat. Cat smell me coming and I go crazy. Yeah, he is definitely not a human. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's a spoiler. You could see it in his eyes. Uh, how am I supposed to get at this? I don't know if we were supposed to tie it. No? Alright, let's have a looky here. I have to pull out the nails to remove the hinge. I don't think tweezers are strong enough for that. No. Okay. What do we have here? It's too heavy to move. I need to lighten it first. By cutting it. That's what I would do. Yeah, there you go, buddy. We have an empty bag. And some nippers. Or tongs. I know. It says tongs, but these are nippers to me. Nippers are one of my most favorite tools to get. Nippers and crowbars. Favorite. We have a hinge. And a stone. The axle is sturdy. The, mouse, the millstone is heavy, but I could lift it if I'm careful. Okay. The bag is always useful. Is it? Is it always useful? Don't know. I don't know. Can this... No? Stone. It sounded more clever in my mind. Well, aren't you cheeky? So, I don't know what else I can do here. What's with the hinge? Hmm. Pretty sure the nippers aren't going to do me much good. No, I didn't think so. This isn't... There's no map in this game, or at least I don't see a map. Mm. Wait. Diary. Tasks. The carriage is broken. Oh, you know what? It just it occurred to me, because it just said the carriage is broken. I bet you the nippers can pull this pin out. Lynch pin? Yeah, there you go. Pull that out of there. Oh, we actually get to keep it. And a broken wheel. Slide off there nicely. Take it... Well... I was going to say we're going to have to fix it, but I don't know where the other wheel is. <laughs> okay. Sparkles are just all over the place here. I bet this wheel can go on nicely here. Yeah, there you go. Wedge it with something. Like a linchpin? No? Stone? A bone. Hinge. Okay, so that's not going to work at all. Hmm. I don't know if there's the reins will get up there. What about if... Can we combine stuff? No. Oh, you know what? I bet you we can break open the skull now with the stone. There you go. Smash that up nicely. Oh, I gotta do it twice. Three times. Grab that arrowhead now. Can that go into this now? No. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. A bag is always useful. That doesn't help me at all. So, I can't reach it. Hmm. Anything back in here? 
Not exactly sure what this means. A millstone is heavy, but I could lift it if I'm careful. Okay. What do we do? What do we do? Go back. Is there a hint? Is it? Go forward. Is this the wedge that we need? Yes, it is. Now I just need to hammer the hair, the ha hammer the arrowhead in. There we go. Oh, I actually, to do it. That's neat. We're gonna let up the water, folks. Yay! Look at that. Cool. Ooh, this is not creepy at all. Uh, if I could find some kind of rope, I could throw it over the gates and try to latch the end of the bar. Look at us go here. Indiana Jones style. I need to catch the loop with something like a hook to throw it... Wait, wait, wait. I need to catch the loop with something like a hook. This looks like a hook, doesn't it? Sure does. Yank it. We are in business. Creepy lady Mariah. Someone's home. The rest of the village seems empty, though. Where did everyone go? Say? Perhaps if I widen the crack. Oh. There you go. Handy. The bucket is at the bottom of the well. Is there a chain here? Bucket, okay. I can deal with that. Nice hat here. Sure, let's go to the house. Hello? What do you want? <gasps> Are you deaf? I said, what do you want? <laughs> Excuse me, but I... Can I stay over for the night? I'm a healer. I was attacked by the wolf at the road, and... Are you deaf? I said, what do you want? Wait, what? I'm a healer. Oh, I, I see. I was attacked by the pick. wolf at the road, and I... Healer? Hmm. Well, if you cure my daughter, then you'll stay. If not, you'll die. Follow me. But wait, I didn't... Oh, my God. We're in trouble. What is that all about? Is he the werewolf that attacked me? She's over there. She's over there. Look at this creepy eye. She's over there. All right, we'll look at her. Oh, she's been bit. Face as pale as the grave. There's a large wound on her forearm, but I cannot inspect it until I clean the area. Alcohol is usually a good thing for that. Uh, or not. Or not. Well, I don't know how old she is, but she looks like she doesn't have. Is that a scratch over there? It's like an X here. That's what it's all about. I'm gonna wash your wound. Here, we need this. It's empty. Scoop. It's dark over here. Where's my flashlight? Take that spoon. Take this. Leader, I met the master. He wants you to take your daughter to the circle tonight. That isn't creepy at all. Alright, what do we have here? Tablecloth. Okay. What's the tablecloth for? Surprisingly clean tablecloth. Um, we need to wet it. I said you cure her or else. All right, all right, relax. I'm working on it. Let's go back into the village here. See what we have here. The door is locked. No one answers for my knocking. Alrighty then, we found a flint and steel. Whoa, what is this? Can we use the scoop? No. Lynchpin? Not a chance. Tweezers? No. <coughs> Alright, what do we have here? I guess I can't get in there, I guess. Go this way. We're kind of waiting for us to get to a hidden object scene. 
finally, finally all the items listed below, items printed in red, will require some extra steps to discover. Whoa, I don't even know what happened there. One block is missing. That lobster just moved. Freaked me out. I do like this scene. It's really uh, crisp. It's neat. Nippers! Uh, don't know what they're for, though. What's this all about? Is this not half a plate? I don't know what that was about. Four. Can we not make minuses here? Two plus two is four. Cool. I don't know what that's for. It looks like the stamp collection when it's tied tight. No. Nope. It's kind of a creepy scene, to be honest with you. What are we getting in here? I might get pinched with my bare hands. You think? Where's that glove? What's this all about? I don't quite know what the note's for. It's weird. The hat is missing something. A feathered hat. Oh, what's this? This scene is weird. There's a glove there. Oh, okay, maybe we put that in there. There we go. That reminds me of scratches. I have to put a stamp on it. Let's see, where is our stamp? An apple, I saw that already. A wrench. I don't know what this is meant to do. Elephant. So what are we looking for now? We are looking for, looking at the bottom of the list, a wrench and a feather, apparently. There's our wrench. Don't know what this is meant for. Uh -uh. Weird. Uh, we're gonna hint it. Okay. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> How was that supposed to help me? Oh, I see that's in there. Okay, okay, got it. Nippers. Get, a, get over there and pull those nails out. Definitely a challenging scene here. It's kind of neat. So where is the feather? In there somewhere? I need to pull him up and have him cut that, so how do I grab him? Hmm. From the net. Why is that not working? There we go. Get out of there, buddy. Here. Go use your fancy stamp. Go on the letter. Oh, that's for the letter. Okay. Feathered hat. Go ahead and hit that. Oh, the bird left. Oh, wow. It's all connected. Indeed. Crazy puzzle. I like it. That was really well done. Merle, Otis, I know you two broke my cart. If I catch you near my property again, I'll use my millstone as a wheel and run over your feet. So that's a little bit of a pointer. We're going to have to go and get the millstone. Uh, what is this, anyways? Tablecloth. I don't know if this will work, no? Need to strike something against it. Hmm. Can't seem to get over here. What is this? Oh yeah, that's that. Uh, nope, nothing is there. Tell me what to do, game. Go in the door. Okay. We use the saw here. Healing herbs. Interesting. Still think we're gonna have to uh, collect a lot more stuff here. I don't know if we're supposed to like 
Can we use the alcohol right on the blanket, maybe? I don't know. Tablecloth. Let's try it. Need some scissors. I could cut this to make bandages. What about if I use one of these? Saw blades. No. Jeez, she is breathing heavy too. I have a feeling I'm gonna need water. Yeah, it's empty. Crud. Hmm. Okay. Strike what against it? Wood? What the hell am I striking against this? That doesn't make any sense. Really? Lynch? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, put some wood here. Bush, bush wood there. We'll light it up. There we go. That is kind of neat, actually. It's not something I actually thought of. It's still empty, though. Can we see over here yet? No, we cannot. Why, game, why? Still need a bucket. I don't know if this ladle's gonna work. Hmm. Tell me what to do. Go this way. And again. One more time. Coin. Oh, it's gonna be our screwdriver, is it? Okay. So now we have a lamp, now. Oh, it's gonna be an old-fashioned lamp. That's kinda clever. Let's go ahead and look over here, then. Oh, shoot. To fill it with a flammable fluid. We have alcohol. I'll take that off first. Then fill it up. Do I have my flint? Yes, I do. Light it up. Yes, we are in business. Excellent! We have an old-fashioned flashlight. That is so cool. 